All right. So you can type anything that you want into um, Google and you can search for an image. I'm going with the Charlie Brown theme since we were watching Charlie Brown. You do not have to. Um, but when you search for an image, you want to click over here on tools and you want to make sure that you click on large because if you bring in any image and then you bring it into um, Photoshop, it could come up really, really small. And we don't want that. So we want to make sure we're on large. Then you're going to scroll down, find whatever picture that you like. I'm trying to find the one that I had. This is the one I chose. So you click on it. Then you also need to um, view the image. This is important for your final, what I'm showing you right now, because you are going to be finding pictures off the internet that you're going to put your teacher into. So you really need to make sure that you know how to get a large image off the internet. So once you look at it and open it, if you get a magnifying glass that has a plus on it, you want to click it and make it big. It only made this one a little bit bigger. Sometimes it will make it really big. Then you're going to click and you're going to drag it into Photoshop. Then if your picture is going, mine is going landscape. So I want to make a new document going portrait. And you'll see why in a minute. So file new. <coughs> And then portrait, 8 by 10, hit create. Then I'm going to click on and drag my picture out. Click from the layer and drag it over. Then I'm going to go um, command T, hold my shift, only pull from my corners. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. And then I'm going to duplicate that layer by either doing command J or I could click and drag to the left of the trash can. Make sure I'm on my move tool. I'm gonna click and drag one of my images down. Now, let's say I made my images too big. I can always just go and resize them and make them smaller by doing Command T, <clears throat> holding the shift and making them smaller to fit on the page. Now, I need to then make another image. So go File, New. And this one, whatever my, whichever way my picture is going, which is landscape. I'm gonna click it landscape, eight by 10, and I'm gonna hit create. Then I'm gonna go back over here and I'm gonna take this image and I'm gonna drag it over. I'm gonna do Command T, hold the shift, make it fit on screen, hit return to accept, making sure I'm on the move tool. Then I'm gonna go image, mode, grayscale. Don't flatten, hit okay. We're making our image black and white. And now we want to change it back to go to image mode RGB. I'm going to hit don't flatten. And I'm going to click here and it doesn't, I'm going to change my color to red. I'm clicking on the color box. And then I'm going to go to my paintbrush. And then here is where I'll be able to circle things that I started to change. So this will be my answer key. <clears throat> 